my name's Mike M0MSN and I think it's time that we finished our capacitor build. Uh, if you remember last time uh, we built the capacitor uh, with the plates uh, and some threaded bar uh, and we put some, um, some 3D printed um, sides or top and bottoms on it. Um, look very similar uh, to these only in, uh, in the black uh, P, uh, PETG um, printed uh, material. Um, these are PLA, which I actually prefer the um, the feel of um, and the, the pliability. Anyway, um, so we've done that, uh, and I think what we have to do now is um, put a, a tuning knob on, and also find a way to uh, allow us to put a slip uh, ring or some way of of connecting the um, the centre of the. Uh, the movement part on the uh, capacitor. Um, it's a bit of fun that because um, with the butterfly, of course, you've got two fixed uh, points. You don't really need to uh, worry about uh, um, the wear on, on the center connector, uh, but on the um, on the two part um, capacitor, of course, the the top one's the wear one. Um, so we need to look at that and work out a way of keeping the pressure on on uh, the terminal um, so that we don't get uh, um, too much buildup of resistance or some uh, um, failure. Um, I'm not worried about longevity to be fair. Um, if, if it lasts a couple of years then um, good, uh, we can always replace it. Um, anyway, so uh, this is the, the solution I've come up with. Cutting it really slowly so that uh, I don't damage the, uh, the thread, to be honest with you. That's the only reason. And to make it easy to thread the new uh, nuts on. There we are. Okay. So, this is for the centre connection to make a slip. So let's think about this. Okay, so what's the plan? So, what we've got side of our uh, capacitor, like so, and the, uh, the nuts coming through it, yeah, or the bolt, the, the um, yeah, the threaded bar comes through the middle. So what I'm thinking of doing is putting a washer around it. Okay, so we've got our washer. And then I'm going to put our round terminal. And then in front of that, I'm going to put a bent washer. I don't know if I can do this. Okay. And then on top of that, our nut, I think. God, I can't draw nuts. Not awful. Right. So this, because it's bent sort of like this, will push against the uh, our ring terminal, and then behind that a slightly larger washer, and then our nut in the middle. Okay. And that's the idea. So the idea is that I'm going to bend a, a washer to make it spring-ish. We'll give it a bit of give it a rounding. The idea of that is that it becomes slightly, become a bit springy. So you can make that out. Okay. 
I know, a lot of washers. Give that a bit of a bit of a twist. And then the other could do the lock nut here, really. Nine lock or something. So what we have is the washer pressing down on the other washers, which means I can still turn the, and it slips around it, look, because that would just be out of a piece of cable on it, so see that? That's held quite nicely in place. So there you go, it's working relatively well. The um, the slip ring works uh, quite nicely. Now, for the handle or the knob, um, we're gonna make one of those, okay, and stick it on to the, uh, the capacitor. Um, now, as you know, I also make, uh, or I have also made, I should say, um, a butterfly capacitor, which um, I will show you in the next bit. Um, it's a little easier to make, to be honest with you, because you, you just simply use a, um, a 10 centimeter hole saw to cut the aluminium uh, and then um, cut the butterfly or the bow tie out of the middle. Um, anyway, so I'll show you, uh, I won't show you the construction of that, but I will show you the the, um, the capacitor. And it's based upon uh, one that was given to me by, by Andy in Cheltenham. So thank you very much for that, Andy. Um, so okay, uh, let's proceed. Uh, we're putting the uh, the tuning um, knob or dial on, uh, and uh, cutting the uh, the threaded bar to the right size. Right, okay. Trusty balls up board. Middle ish. I think that's probably the right dimensions for the nut. Yeah, cool. Okay.
There we are, we have our butterfly version. Okay. And our... Uh, oh, what type of version this is? That's two plate version, I suppose. That's an easier one to build, much easier one to build. Um, I think I might just stick with those. But I do like my uh, banana slicer. So much better.